hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so now i am going to solve question number two of weekly contest 407 okay so vowels game in a string okay so allies and wow are playing a game on a string and you are given a string s allies and wow will take turns playing the following game where allies starts first okay so allies will always have one benefit because she is playing a first move right so allies is really very clever okay so on allies turn she has to remove any known empty substring from s that contains an odd number of vowels and on bob's turn he has to remove any known empty substring from s that contains an even number of vowels okay so the first player who cannot make a move on their turn loses the game we assume that both allies and bob play optimally okay so since allies is going to play first move she is uh, definitely has some benefit okay here so we have to return true if allies wins the game and false otherwise okay so see this example lead coder okay so this is one vowel this is one vowel this is one vowel and this is one vowel okay so what allies here she will do she is going to remove this part she is going to remove this part completely okay then bob will play bob is only going to remove this d only right he is not going to remove d e or d e r because then this will contain odd number of vowels right so she can only remove this d then allies will definitely in the next move she will complete all this okay so what i am going to say here uh, listen carefully whenever in my string there is any vowel present i am going to say that allies is only going to win that game because allies is very clever okay so see here in example two there is no vowel okay so now allies is going to lose here there is no valid play for allies in her first turn so allies closes the game okay so now let's take few examples right so let's say this is a one string b c z g and uh, d okay so now let's assume uh, there is no vowel in the starting so who will win definitely bow will win this time okay now if i insert any vowel in this string so let's say i have inserted this e here then who will win allies will win okay so what she is going to do she is going to delete all the string that's it then there is no move for bob okay now uh, you can just uh, put this e somewhere else okay so if i just put e here then again allies is going to delete all this complete string in a one go okay now this is done now let's say there are two vowels okay so if i put this vowel here now what allies is going to do she is going to delete let's say this part first then bob will play okay then bob is going to delete this okay he can't delete this because this is going to contain all numbers of vowels okay then after this allies is going to delete this one completely okay again allies wins okay this is done now let's say there are three three vowels three vowels here allies is going to play optimally now so she's she can delete all number of uh vowels right so why she is going to just remove this part she is directly going to remove this part because this complete part is going to contain odd number of vowels okay one two three she is going to come delete this whole string and again allies wins okay now let's do one more thing let's put again one more e vowel here so now alive what allies is going to do she is going to delete this odd number then bow is only going to delete this one then allies is going to delete complete so allies is very clever okay so every time whenever there is any vowel present in my string i am only going to say that allies is going to win because allies has advantage right she is going to play first move right she is very clever okay so now our code is very simple i am going to iterate over my string one by one four characters e in my string two care array okay so if i am going to create uh, one method is vowel okay this is going to check if the particular character is vowel or not okay so if it is vowel then i am going to simply return true otherwise i am just going to return false okay that's what i need to do return false that's it now let's define this method is is vowel okay so private boolean is vowel 
and here I am just going to pass character C okay so if so here I am just going to return if true if my C is equal to A or my C is equal to E or my C is equal to I or my C is equal to O or my C is equal to U okay so I am going to simply return true okay so now that's it now let's run the code and see if there are any code issues so all the test cases has been accepted now let's submit it so see our solution is accepted and beats 100% of users with java right so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for more uh, solutions related to weekly contest or daily contest thank you